in the in the introduction it mentions how um, Van Helsing um, he's uh, the benevolent wise and shrewd Dutch medical professor is made to speak ridiculously fractured English and it wasn't it seemed like it wasn't ridiculously fractured for the whole for the whole of the book but there were a couple times um, where it just sounded really silly like like bad English but it's it's a guy who English isn't supposed to be his first language but he I think he's he knows a bunch of different languages but um, Sometimes it just sounds really silly. Like like here, uh, Mina Harker's journal. She's they're having a meeting and she's recording what he's what Van Helsing is saying. Uh, so said I. This is the ship whereon is the count. So off we go to Doolittle's wharf, and there we find a man in an office of wood, so small that the man look bigger than the office. From him we inquire of the goings of the Serena Catherine. We swear much, and he red face and loud of voice, but he good fellow all the same, and when Quincy give him something from his pocket, which crackle as he roll it up, and put it in a so small bag, which he have hid deep in his clothing, he still better fellow and humble servant to us, he come with us and ask many men who are rough and hot. These be better fellows too, when they have been no more thirsty. They say much of blood and bloom and of others which I comprehend not, though I guess what they mean, but nevertheless they tell us all things which we want to know. So sometimes um, when, I guess Van Helsing, yeah. Sometimes when Van Helsing talks in the book, it sounds kind of funny, but sometimes he sounds very understandable and not silly, so that's kind of weird. Yeah.